hey all you cool cats and kittens <laughs> is it too soon it's too soon anyway hey everybody um it's maya the college advisor so here with another video on um scholarships which is something that everyone is always asking about and wanting to know more about um so today just gonna really talk about raise me which uh you may or may not have heard of i feel like i may or may not have mentioned it um to some of my students i know of course i know some of the other advisors have probably mentioned it but anyway raise me is a micro scholarship website so you're able to make an account and then you get money for doing things that are um, college preparation related so taking the ACT, taking an AP class, being involved in clubs and organizations, doing community service hours, um, going on college campus tours, those type of things. You can get, you know, $100, $200, $400 um, for doing like each of the different activities. And then you can make the account at any time, but the earlier the better. So that way you have more stuff that's on there and more money that you're able to earn. So that way, once you get to your your senior year so depending on what grade you're in right now once you get to senior year um then you're able to have you know maybe a couple thousand dollars um in your raise me account that you're able to use at the college that you're wanting to go to so you can't use it at any college um, but on their website there is a list of the colleges that they're partnered with so you can get a good idea um depending on what school you want to go to of where you can use the scholarship money at so we're just going to talk about making an account and what it looks like. So I'm going to share my screen. Boop. All right. And it's raise.me. So not raiseme.com or raiseme.org. It's raise.me for the website. So this is what it looks like. So you add the different things that you do, earn scholarships, figure out which colleges are on here. And then here's some testimonials from some people um, that have used the money to go to school. So I already have an account, of course. So I'm gonna go ahead and log in. Yep, that's me. All right, so this is what my dashboard looks like because I'm an educator, but we're gonna look at um, what the student version would look like for you all. So you would go and raise me, make your account the same way you would make any sort of account with your, you know, email, contact information, all that. So this is what the student dashboard looks like. And the more filled out it is, the better. So, you know, you would put your name, you can upload a picture, what school you go to, you can put some, you know, like, hey, I'm, you know, a fun person and I like watching Netflix in my free time. I don't know, whatever you want to put in there, whatever major you're thinking about. And then this is the getting started checklist. So if you go back here, um, you can add email, add your citizenship status, follow at least one college, add at least one thing, six courses, and then community service hours, your scores um, for testing, and then you can invite a friend to raise me, which we'll get to that in like a second. So this is where you can add in your classes in your grades. So you can get up to like a certain amount of money just for adding in like all your classes and then having if you had all all a's one semester like all a's like for like the whole year or something like that you can potentially get some money for doing that so you can add it in for all your time in high school and then extracurricular so you can put like exactly what you were involved in and then the year so if you want to add one you know let's say i'm you know i'm on the track team High school, um, Sumner Academy, shout out to Sumner. Y'all already know what it is. Um, I don't know, a medium amount of work. <laughs> I did it last year, the year before, and this year. Boom, safe. So that's how you would, ooh, look, $20 playing a sport. So that's how you would add that in there. And then you can add community service hours, work experience. So this is if you have a job somewhere your test score, so ACT, pre-ACT, pre-SAT, the SAT, all those things. Um, any honors and awards, so that's like, you know, you got perfect attendance award or you were on like honor roll, something like that. And then college readiness, so it's like, okay, I went, I went on a campus visit. I'm gonna add that. I went to K-State on a visit in February of this year. Boom, campus visit, it's in there. 
boom, a thousand dollars. K State gave me a thousand dollars just for coming to view their campus. So that's different things that you can do um, with that. And then, so um, where's the? Sorry, gonna refresh. There's usually like a little thing at the top of the screen. All right, so we're just gonna. Oops. There we go. This part, that's what I was looking for. All right, so then you're gonna look at scholarships. So these are the different types of scholarships. So I got an A, I have perfect attendance. I took an honors course, I took an AP course, um, dual enrollment. So if you are doing dual enrollment um, with like one of the local community colleges, that's great. Um, participating in stuff, I have a leadership role. So that's like, you know, you're the team captain or something like that. Participating in a sport, a leadership role in an extracurricular. So that's like, if you, you know, you're doing student council and you're, you know, the secretary or like the student council president or something like that at your school. So this is where you can find the different things and then add them in um, as you know what you do. <laughs> and then colleges. So there's three tabs. Um, so recommendations, these are gonna be, so since I put that I was a female, these are women's colleges that they're suggesting that I look at. Um, and then colleges in different areas, um, recommended research colleges, so I already have K-State. You know what, let's add UMKC on there. Boom, I hit follow. Now it's added to my list. So then this is my list of colleges so far. And then you can put like, I plan to apply here or I'm undecided yet, um, which is something like you can kind of just put, wait until like your senior year when you actually start figuring out where you're applying. Um, and a cool thing I like about Raise Me is that it does have information about the colleges on here. Um, we'll do that later. That looks like a lot of words. All right, so it has information. So I picked on UCM. Um, so it tells you the cost, the acceptance rate, how many students they have, the cost for tuition and fees, your salary after graduating. So it's like an average amount that people make, and then the type of college it is up here, and then the graduation rate. So then it tells you like they don't currently do scholarships, but this is just informational so that way you're able to learn more about UCM. So that's something that I like, the gender balance there, admission stuff, graduation stuff, future salary, and then colleges that are similar. So so not all, so like I said earlier, not all of the colleges that you're interested in may be offering scholarships, but I still think this is a good tool for the colleges that do offer scholarships. And then um, over here you can search colleges. So you can look at um, so these college, so colleges that have these little like dollar signs. So if I did click on K State, um, oh, maybe later, um, these little dollar sign things mean that they do offer scholarships. So like right now, just based on the stuff that I've put in here so far of what I've done, I have about eighteen hundred dollars I could use at K State. So that's cool. And then this little hundred dollars up here, you can refer a friend, and you'll both get a hundred dollar scholarship from participating colleges when they join and start earning. So you can copy this link, send it to your friend, put in your friend's phone number, or you can, um, this is where you can track like how many of your friends have signed up based on the link that you sent them. So that's something cool that I think is nice. So you can kind of, you know, encourage your friends to get some money. Um, so that's Raise Me in a nutshell. So definitely take some time to explore what type of, Colleges are on here, different places that you're interested in. Go ahead and add them to the list. Fill out your profile all the way through so that way you can get a good idea of just how much money you could potentially make. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for Raise Me. Any like questions and things about it, feel free to reach out to your college advisor or reach out to me. If I'm your college advisor, of course, you can always call or text me. And uh, yeah, that's Raise Me. And this is it for the video today. Bye.